It is George the Fragrance Press. It didn't take long for yet another Prin masterpiece to come onto the indie spotlight. We've already talked about Prin's um, Strangers line before. We talked about Cigar Rum, which was a fragrance that I was sort of on and off about, but this is something I'm really wild about. I'm wild about a lot of Prince fragrances actually at the moment. I really have connected with his work. This is called Wicked John. It's in reference to John Wick, uh, the successful uh, film franchise, and I appreciate that, of course, as being a film fan myself. You know, I'm just going to say this straight up. This is what Himalaya should have been by Creed. This makes Himalaya look preposterous. It makes Himalaya look as though it's kind of like a cheap designer clone of itself. This is quite embarrassing. This has got the note of gunpowder, of course, John Wick. He uses a lot of guns. And it is the idea of Himalaya taken to a whole new level. Now, I'm not saying it's a clone or it's an adaptation or anything like that, but just that gunpowder note alone with a lot of different fresh elements to it, a lot of lovely spicy um, aromatic elements. This to me has completely blown me away, almost like a gunshot. Um, you put this on, and it's funny because you know you you think of John Wick and you think of you know smoke and uh, it's going to be you know very bold and very violent and very this and very that. It actually isn't like that. It's actually kind of like an aromatic fougere in the way that it has a lot of good aerated elements. It has a breathable element to it. This is a very easy casual scent. You know, you could very easily see this as a signature scent. Um, it has that incredible uh, gunpowder note, but with almost like a lavender kind of deal with, as I said, some aromat aromatic herby, you know, fluffy, fluffy kind of <laughs> nice, just airy uh, elements that you can just kind of like glide along with. There's a lot of grace in this fragrance. You know, there's a lot of dignity um, in it and there's just a really enjoyable and wearable nature to it. Probably more so than quite a few of his fragrances. This and Salted Green Mango, two of the most wearable, but this has got I'm also going to say that it has a little bit of a minty texture, a little bit of a, a menthol -y kind of thing in the background, but that just keeps it balanced and keeps it cool, you know, and you've got this gunpowder thing that's really, really intense, but you've got this cooling effect with the other aromatics just going over it. So it's fantastically balanced and really beautiful. I know that in the springtime I'm going to be wearing this a tremendous amount. I already know, I've only had this for about a month and a half now, something along those lines. And I would have, I did wear it when it was a little bit sunnier and a little bit warmer in those uh, cooler uh, months of September. So you have these great, fantastic elements and it's ridiculously well balanced. And this is one of those indie kind of fragrances where I could actually recommend this to anybody. I could recommend this to the man in the street. This could be one of those fragrances where if you're wanting to get into an indie niche fragrances, but you don't want to dive in, you don't want to be crazy about it, and I don't blame you, look out, look up Wicked John by Strangers because it has the great complexities and it has the great ideas and it has the great finesse of, and the originality, certainly the originality of these uh, more niche, harder to find, harder to wear fragrances. Um, but it's also got that really kind of universal wearability. I haven't had any compliments from this, but I could imagine, you know, some people could say some nice things about this very easily. I could imagine people going, oh, you know, so you smell good with that. Um, and if you have Himalaya, if you're on Himalaya, you might be chucking it because this is just so much more natural, you know, so much more real, so much more... Um, <laughs> presented beautifully and has a great amount of elements to play with. It's a fantastic creation by Prin. He's um, really knocking them out of the park at the moment. I love this so, so much. And honestly, this gives me uh, an image of, I could imagine walking up a mountain in the springtime, 
what, even a Himalayan mountain or just something like that because it has that cool breath of fresh air um, that's very soothing and very calming. You know, I can imagine going to Tibet or something like that, which is very weird because, of course, John Wick is not like that at all. It's a very violent and um, action-packed film. But And I get that gunpowder thing, but actually, for me, this is a very calming, very uh, placid, very lovely, very cooling fragrance. Um, so it's got a lot to offer. So I hope you like the sound of it. If you do, then of course check out Prince's um, website. But just check out what he does in general. I think that the guys, I think the kid's a genius. I genuinely feel he's a genius, and one of the greatest perfumiers working today in the industry. And I'm so honoured to be to have met the dude for one, but to be at a point where it seems that he's kind of at the peak of his career. He just is doing so many great things, and it's just a great time to be alive, to be a fragrance fan. So yeah, check out his. Um, his fragrances, no doubt, that I will be talking about a lot more of them in the months to come. Anyway, hope you got the information that you wanted. Until I see you next time and next week with the Indie Spotlight and the Fragrance Press. Cheers. <laughs>